Charlie Brown, a Charlie Brown. I can't believe it. She must think I'm the most stupid person alive. Oh, Gino. Come on, Charlie Brown. I'll hold the ball and you kick it. Hang on. You're just going to pull the football away from me at the last second and I'm going to fall flat on my back and kill myself. But Charlie Brown, it's Thanksgiving. What's that got to do with anything? Well, one of the greatest traditions we have is the Thanksgiving Day football game. And the biggest, most important tradition of all is the kicking off of the football. It is a national holiday, after all. And besides, it's a great honor. Surely she has some sense of dignity. She wouldn't pull it away on Thanksgiving. I'm going to kick that football clear to the moon. Ah! Some things never change. Hello Braves and welcome to this week's episode of Braves Beat. I'm John Anning. And I'm JC Chen. So JC, are you doing anything over this Thanksgiving break? No, nothing much. What about you? I'm in the same boat as you. Yeah. We have a lot of news to cover, so let's get started. The Indian Hill High School production of Frozen is quickly approaching. Tickets go on sale November 20th, so get in there and get your tickets before it's too late. The play will be performed December 9th, 10th, 14th, 15th, and on December 16th. Our sports media team went on a trip to UC to check out their ESPN sports broadcasting studio. Roll the clip. We had many of our athletes who were recognized as either first team, second team, or honorable mention CHL. Congratulations, Braves. Congratulations to Indian Hill High School senior Magna Siri Purapu for earning a perfect score on the AP research exam. She was one of 357 students to achieve this elite status globally. Congratulations, Magna. Yesterday was Be the Difference Day for sophomores. It was a great program that both students and adult volunteers enjoyed. We played group games and had meaningful conversations about different issues. It was a truly impactful experience, and I'm sure everyone who attended benefited a great deal. Reporter Lizzie Crandall had the opportunity to compete at the UPHA American Royal National Championship horse riding show in saddle seat riding. Roll the clip. Last week, I had the opportunity to compete at the United Professional Horsemen's Association's American Royal National Championship in Kansas City, Missouri. I competed in the American Saddlebred Three-Gated Show Pleasure National Championship for ages 14 to 17 with my horse, Finn. In our first class of 10 horses, we received 6th in the country, and in our second class of 18 horses, one judge tied us 9th in the country. I'm very grateful to have had this opportunity, and Finn and I look forward to competing next year. Congratulations, Lizzie and Finn. 
All right, Braves, that's all the news we have for this week. Be sure to follow us on X, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And remember, stay, stay classy, classy, Indian Hill. Hill. November 17th is National Butter Day, where we acknowledge the rich history of this churned dairy product. Records of butter trace back to almost 8,000 BC, where a farmer accidentally discovered the substance. In honor of this day, make sure to eat some dairy or vegan butter. Thank you.